In the 15th century, Renaissance artists like da Vinci and Caravaggio discovered that by applying a succession of lights and shadows to different planes in their images, they were able to add the illusion of dimensional depth. This innovative lighting technique is known as chiaroscuro, an Italian that means light and dark. 600 years went by since the chiaroscuro technique was created and is still widely used to produce quality images in photography, cinematography, and television. Let's see how chiaroscuro works. This is a normal flat scene lit with a single light source placed at the camera's position. With flat lighting, the object appears like a circle. It has no roundness or depth. The moment that we bring the light around, we start creating modeling and the plane circle suddenly starts showing its spherical dimension. Of course, everything else is dark and we are still showing only a single plane in the image. Let's place one single light on the background. But instead of illuminating the entire background, we'll concentrate the light only behind the dark area. Now suddenly we have dimensional depth as the object and the background are separated by light and dark areas. This is the very basic principle of chiaroscuro. Also notice how smaller details that were not visible when the light was directly in front of the object are now becoming more prominent. Let's take it one step further. Let's place more objects in the image. The chiaroscuro technique is clearly showing dimensional depth as light placement not only is giving us the spherical dimension on each object, but light and dark areas distinctively separate each plane in the image. Now let's use some lighting and other techniques to concentrate the viewer's attention in one portion of the image only. We can accomplish this by lowering the light intensity on everything that is not of primary importance in order to make the main point of interest stand out from the rest. We can also accomplish the same result by using selective focusing so only what's important will be in sharp focus. If we want something to really stand out, in addition of creating separation with selective light intensity and selective focusing, we can do it by adding color lighting to a specific part of the image. Just look at the comparison of what the chiaroscuro technique can do to our images.